Hey, what's happening, Ranger Nation? Kaylin here, and it's been a while, but it's time for another Power Rangers Battle for the Grid news update. That's right, brand spanking new Rangers are entering the morphing grid because Season Pass 4 is real. Though we were all way off this time, instead of two Rangers and one baddie, we are getting two villainesses and Adam, the Ninja Frog Ranger. I have to say, more phenomenal, right? Anyway, I'm a little bummed that Jason did not get his Omega Ranger skin. I was really thinking that they were going to push more Boom Studio stuff because of the popularity of the Omega Rangers. I mean, they even have a, like, Cat Ranger now. Like, literally a cat as the Blue Ranger. But anyway, instead, Season Pass 4 will give us a Shadow Ranger unmorphed skin. Even though Enway told me no unmorphed skins were going to happen. Well, guess what? Shadow Ranger will be wearing his Commander of the SPD uniform. So fans of the character should be pretty pleased that Enway once again has created a very accurate look based on the character's appearance from the TV show Power Rangers SPD. Now Adam will be arriving first on September 21st. He will be voiced by Johnny Young Bosch, his original actor, which is pretty awesome. His moves, as you can see, is very similar to his Legacy Wars counterpart. Personally, I did not see this coming. I thought we would finally get Zane, Coda, or some Rangers that I've speculated like the Silver RPM Ranger for many years now. Still, I am very happy for Adam's inclusion, and I know that there is actually a pretty decent following for the Ninja Ranger Adam on Twitter. In fact, they had this whole fan site for quite a while begging Enway to put this character in the game, and that's how he got in Egg, and that's how he got in Legacy Wars, and apparently eventually into the Battle for the Grid. Now, Adam adds a different take on combat for Battle for the Grid. Plus, ninjas are just cool in general, so I like his sleek shinobi moves, and they look like something that you saw from the Season 3 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I'm really glad that Adam has made it in, make no mistake. A little bitter about some of the other characters not appearing yet, but I don't think Power Rangers is running out of steam just yet. Also, his super move is devastatingly awesome. And, I mean, just look at that. That's sick. Next up from Power Rangers Dino Charge will be Poissandra, the villainess from the show. She will employ the use of another character, Sledge, who made a recent appearance in past Power Rangers shows after Dino Charge as a guest villain. She'll be releasing in November, and it looks like she's going to be a blast to play. When she hits other fighters, cute comic book effects and hearts will display when she hits them. Her super move was not shown from what I can tell, so we'll have to wait for another reveal trailer later on. Lastly, we have Rita Repulsor herself. I did think that this character would eventually make it into the game, but I had no idea it would be part of Season Pass 4. I thought maybe further down the line, because old Enway did used to talk about Rita, and how it wouldn't be too hard to bring her over from Legacy Wars. So we'll have to wait officially to see what she's going to play like, but I would probably say it's not a stretch to say that it'll be similar to her counterpart from Legacy Wars since Adam more or less looks like his Legacy Wars version as well. And all in all, I'm pretty happy about this announcement. I just wish I knew about it a few days prior so I could prep a video for all of you, because now my plans have to be altered today and I won't be streaming this evening. Also, I'm not going to lie that I'm annoyed that more of the popular Rangers besides Adam still haven't made it into Battle for the Grid yet. But this does make me think that a Season 5 is going to be very possible with an announcement sometime next year. So I don't think that Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is done just yet. So you can hold off on the Battle for the Grid 2. They still have a lot more in store, I guarantee. The official announcement of this actually took place last week in an exchange between Enway and a small YouTuber. I believe it was Friday or Thursday. I was a little preoccupied on September 11th, so I can't really, uh, you know, tell you about that. But I do recall not seeing any official announcement that a trailer was dropping for the 14th of September. So there was nothing on Enway's website, their Twitter, or other social media outlets, or even a press uh, release, as far as I know. Once again, IGN had the exclusive, so all details were under wraps without any other uh, publication or content creator really knowing what was going on. In fact, many told me in confidence through DMs that they too did not appreciate being left in the dark. But that's all in the past now. Hopefully next time we'll actually get heads up about what's going on. But anyway, that's it. That's all, Ranger Nation. Keep it locked here on September 21st for the Atom Arcade Story live stream and the official return of Power Rangers Versus with Amber and myself on September 22nd at noon. 
for its regular time slot for the next several weeks. Then once again, uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid will return with a new character in November, or Poor Sandra. And uh, that, of course, will be weeks worth of content as well. And then Rita in December, and well, you get the gist of it. In the comments section below, tell me what you think about the Season Pass 4 Battle for the Grid characters, and if you're excited for the reveal of these new fighters or not. I really want to hear what you, the community, has to say, including a lot of Ranger fans. I want to know what you think about this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. It's going to be a fun fall this year, I guarantee. Well, until we meet again, Rangers, the power will protect you always. God bless, and happy gaming. See you, Ranger Nation.